A series of KXAN investigations into the Texas Medical Board revealed the state agency allowing physicians it deemed a threat to public safety to still practice. This while keeping some disciplinary records secret contrary to state law. This evening, investigator Matt Grant reports another state lawmakers now looking into legislation in light of what we uncovered. Some physicians are coming to Texas to leave their past behind. State Senator Bob Hall says our investigations come as a shock. Well, first my reaction is a thank you. Thank you for doing uh, what we should have been doing. The Edgewood Republican wants a full exam of the Texas Medical Board. Oh, I guarantee you, we're, we, we, will, we will be looking at uh, trying to reform their whole, whole operation. They are not doing the job that they're supposed to be doing. That's as simple as that. Until he watched our reports, Hall says he had no idea that multiple doctors credibly accused of inappropriate sexual contact with female patients were allowed to keep practicing as long as they only treated men. Until you brought up what was happening out here, I was really not aware that they were lenient. Something you might want to look into? Uh, absolutely. Hall's planning legislation to tighten the complaint process by making allegations formal affidavits and doing away with anonymous complaints. Hall hopes that will cut down on what he calls frivolous investigations into complaints made by uninvolved parties. They would have their time to focus on things where patients actually are harmed. He says the board should focus efforts on disciplining doctors accused of serious crimes. The medical board previously told us it has to balance protecting the public along with a doctor's right to due process. Doctors would call me with having answer to the medical board because I got a complaint that his office was not clean enough. When you spend time on things like that, how do you have time to find the doctor who's selling opioids under the counter? Coming up tonight at 10, gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke reacts to our investigations with a plan to reform the Texas Medical Board. At the Capitol, Matt Grant, KXAN Investigates. The governor's office tells us they will continue working with the TMB to ensure board members and physicians are held accountable. Adding Governor Abbott has worked to appoint members that will help promote his policies to protect the interests and care of Texans. On the Democratic side across the Capitol, House member Julie Johnston he is also drafting legislation in response to what our team uncovered. And this month we told you more than a half dozen TMB board members have collectively donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to Governor Greg Abbott, who appointed them to the board. Johnson wants the public non-medical members of the board to have patient safety and advocacy experience, something that is not currently required. How do you hold the Texas Medical Board accountable when it's not following the law like it should? Well, we need to look into that and we need to find uh, ways to do that. One issue might be is who's on the Texas Medical Board and revisiting the qualifications for the people that sit on there. Right now, there are not a lot of requirements. You know, Governor Abbott's able to appoint his big dollar donors to the Medical Board and they're not doing their job. And a quick note, these interviews and the governor's response were gathered before the tragedy in Uvalde. Board members did not respond to our request for comment. You can catch up on our entire series. Head over to KXAN.com, click on Still Practicing under the Investigative tab.